Now on Eyewitness News, the Central Connecticut State University baseball team is in mourning after a former player died in New Zealand. Weathersfield native Ryan Costello was found dead by his teammates this morning. Channel 3's Mike Savino talked with Costello's former coach. CCSU baseball coach Charlie Hickey described Costello as a great player and a great person to have in the clubhouse. And Costello was just one call away from making it to the big leagues, but sadly, that call will never happen. It's made us all take a step back and and remember all those smiles he had. Central Connecticut State University baseball coach Charlie Hickey mourning the loss today of former player Ryan Costello. The Weathersfield native and Minnesota Twins prospect was playing winter ball in the Australian Baseball League when he was found dead this morning. He was always had a smile on his face. He was always fun. Hickey says the 23 year old Costello loved the game. Costello spent three seasons with Central before the Seattle Mariners drafted him in 2017. He was then sent to the Twins as part of a trade the following year. In the Twins system, he played for both the Fort Myers Miracles and the Pensacola Blue Wahoos. Costello's family didn't want to comment. While at Central, Costello led the Blue Devils to a conference title in 2017. Hickey says Costello was looking forward to improving with the Auckland Tuatara in New Zealand. He was awfully excited about doing it. Um, and, and obviously with the goals of going to spring training with the idea of making the big league club. Costello also stayed in touch with his college team, especially the seven former teammates still on the roster. They're struggling today. It's going to be a tough couple of days, but we're, we're going to try to get through it with memories of, of how much fun Ryan had playing baseball. CCSU's athletic department said on Twitter today that Costello will always be remembered for his infectious personality, his drive to succeed, and his positive outlook. From New Britain, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.